Hey, we're here to celebrate. Sorry for that little delay here. I don't want anything electrical hanging over the water. Not a good thing. But what are we here to celebrate? And we're beginning with our water baptism today. And hey, this is the first for me too, having an iPad near water. So uh, I'm going to try to keep that safe. But this morning, before we proceed with our baptism celebration, I want to share with all of you the why, when, and how of water baptism. I want you to have an understanding of why we do this. And first, the why. And there are three reasons why we water baptize or baptize the way that we do. The first is because it is meant to be a public profession of faith. It's an opportunity to tell others about what Jesus Christ has done for us. In Luke chapter 9, verse 26, Jesus said this, and in rather heavy words, he said, If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him before the Father. So for sure, those that are being baptized this morning are not ashamed. Amen? They're happy. They're celebrating. And so it's important for us to confess the faith that we have in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Secondly, we need to be baptized because Jesus himself was baptized by John in the Jordan River. And he did that. Jesus did that even though he had no sin. He did it as an example for us. And then thirdly, Jesus does command us to baptize and to be baptized when in Matthew 28, 19, right near the end of the gospel, he tells us to go, therefore, teaching all people, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so baptism is something that follows a belief in Jesus Christ, the Savior. Now concerning the when, when are we to be baptized? After we have decided to put our full faith in Christ. The water baptism that we practice today is by full immersion. It's not by sprinkling. I'm not sure where that started, where babies would be sprinkled. I was sprinkled as a, as a, well, not as a baby, but as a young child, the age of eight. But baptism is, water baptism is something that should follow an awareness that there's sin in our lives, and we ask God's forgiveness, and then we proclaim him as our Savior, believing that by believing in him, we have eternal life. You know, following Peter's sermon on the day of Pentecost, in Acts chapter 2, verse 37 and 38, it says that when the people heard this, when they heard his message, they were cut to the heart. And they said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter replied, he said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so we have to repent, we have to believe, and then we're baptized. And then finally, the how. And the Apostle Paul explained this to the Romans. He said, What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? Of course not. We died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. If we have been united with him like this in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who's died has been freed from sin. And so in that passage, Paul explains to us the significance of what you're going to witness here this morning. As each one is put under the water, it signifies their death to their old life, their death to sin, their death to the years of not knowing Christ. And then when they're brought up out of the water... It signifies the resurrection that every one of us, because we know Christ, will experience as we walk into heaven. So please understand that. We need to keep in mind that this water, it doesn't, the water doesn't purify us from our sins, but Jesus did. And water baptism is the public display and acknowledgement that Jesus Christ is alive and at work in our hearts. And so since Jesus himself was once dead and is now risen, each one of these candidates will someday die and they will be risen, and they'll live eternally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to celebrate. And you know, as each one comes out of this baptismal tank, I want you to cheer for them. I want you to clap your hands. I want you to yell hallelujahs or whatever else. Whistle if you want to. There ought to be, as, there ought to be as more excitement here than up at the Lincoln Center during NFL season. Really. Let's go ahead and start.
I grew up Catholic, and I have always had the common knowledge that Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior. So without having an actual save date, there is a special date that holds a place in my heart, which is the day that my grandmother passed away. Um, when she passed away, and knowing her belief in the Lord made me decide that I needed to build upon mine, and I needed to actually um, start to build my own relationship with the Lord and not it just be this belief that I have. I needed to learn more. I needed to try to involve my kids more um, in you know, building them building a relationship with the Lord also. Um, since I've started on this journey, I have realized that Christ has strengthened me in dealing with strife and dealing with um, everyday daily, you know, stressors that I have, being home with four kids and so forth, and um, trying not to worry about things. And he's given me the strength to get through things that I may not have been able to without being able to rely on him. I'm choosing today to be baptized due to the fact that I want to show others that this is the path that I'm willing to take, that I am making a dedication to doing so, and hopefully if I begin to falter, that I have my family here at this church to continue to help me stay on the path that I'm ready to be on. I got saved right here in this chapel. Uh, Jim Jossie uh, uh, said his prayer for everybody after an altar call. And it uh, uh, seems like everything that the pastor says in his uh, uh, sermons speak right to my heart. And uh, I've been on a lot of missions trips, and, and I've seen how uh, the church has impacted other countries and other people, other Christians. And, and uh, I think uh, getting baptized is long overdue. saved, but I know that Jesus lives inside me. Jesus has helped me because he's given me someone to turn to, and the reason I'm getting baptized is to further my path with Jesus. Travis, because you know Christ is your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He can see you. Um, I was four when I asked Jesus into my heart. My mom prayed with me, and Jesus is in my heart, and I will be a true child of God.
Joel, because you love the Lord and know him as your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Kim Dunstan, and this is my son, Lance. And a couple of weeks ago, Lance told me in the car that he was ready to get baptized. So the following Sunday, we saw a video of the baptismal, and Lance got really excited, so we decided to do it. I've taught Lance about Jesus for a very long time at home um, since he was little. And I couldn't tell you the date when he was actually saved, but I know that it was a process, and I know right now he's ready to show everybody that he is a believer. Lance, do you love Jesus? Yes, you. Are you excited about getting baptized? Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> She's on her tippy toes. My name is Emily Boop. I got saved when I was five years old in kids' church. I love Jesus because, because he's gave me the strength to do a lot of things. The reason I'm getting baptized is because I pray a lot, I read the Bible, and I come to church a lot. Bye. <laughs> Emily, because you love the Lord and you know him as your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've been a Christian my whole life, and I accepted Jesus in May of 2010. Um, I think that my relationship with Jesus means that even though I'm not perfect and I struggle and I make mistakes, He always loves me and He's always there for me. And I am getting baptized today because I want to show an outward side of my faith, and I love Jesus. So. <laughs> Samantha, because you know Jesus is your Savior and you love him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I accepted Christ as my Savior. My family and I, we went to uh, see Billy Graham at the stadium outside of uh, Philadelphia. And uh, about uh, a year after that, I went uh, through my confirmation class at the United Church of Christ in Springfield, Pennsylvania. And uh, all through the aspects of my life, I always remember this one story of uh, footprints in the sand. And uh, through my military service, which I struggled, and most people do, with their faith in that. And then uh, after that, I got married and raised a child. We had a wonderful child we raised together. And uh, after that, uh, I struggled with uh, things in the workforce like everybody else does in different aspects. You had to deal with people and things like that. 
and then my parents died in uh, retirement and, and all these aspects. And um, through this all, I just uh, had this feeling in my heart about something being with me in spirit. And I, I realized that the Lord was walking beside me. And in this aspect of the walking beside me, he was guiding me and sustaining me in, in most of the things I had in my life, whether good or bad. And one of the most troubling times that I had, he was actually uh, carrying me. So I came here today to be baptized because I believe in Jesus Christ, my Savior. Greg, because you love the Lord and you know him as your Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I accepted God into my heart when I was 12 years old at youth group. And since then, he's always been very important to me, but I was trying to live for my, like I was trying to lead myself. And now I want God to have total control of my, my life and lead me. So um, that's kind of why I want to be baptized because I want to recommit myself to God and have uh, the whole world see it. <laughs> I found God about three years ago, and he has um, really brought my family and myself closer together through prayer. We are going through rough times at the time, and he's really made things better for us as a family. And I want to be baptized so God and the Holy Spirit can come into me and make our family even stronger and make me a much better person for my family. This is Alexander, and two years ago, he, I told him about the salvation prayer, and I explained it to him one morning, and that morning we went to church, and they had an altar call, and he said the salvation prayer and accepted God into his heart, and he loves Jesus, and loves Sunday school, and he really wants to be baptized. <laughs> Because you love the Lord, you know him as your Savior. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. say these little ones baptize them while they're young it's easier <laughs> well, actually we just wanted to see you for a minute Alex <laughs> Alexander because you know the Lord is your Savior and have asked him into your heart I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit going.
was first saved when I was eight, but then I asked Jesus into my life again when I was 12. And after that, he's been in my life to help me with all the t times I've been going through. Whenever something bad's been going on, he's been there to help me and protect me. And he would help me with emotional issues and stuff. And I want to get baptized to increase my relationship with him. That way I can understand it better. I grew up in a Christian home, but I would say that I first believed in Jesus maybe around age six, where I could actually comprehend everything Sunday school teachers taught me. And I believe that was a great choice because my relationship with him gets stronger every day. And I people come in and out of your life, like friends, family, but Jesus is that one thing that remains constant and he's always there when you need him. And I feel like that's something really important that everyone should be able to have in their life. And so my baptism is a way of saying thank you to him for being that person that I can always go to and need. And it's also an outward appearance of my faith for other people to see. So then when they see me, they'll say, she, she knows Jesus, she loves Jesus. Because on the inside, I know that, but I want other people to know that as well. I gave my life to Jesus when I was in second grade at, at Kids Camp. Since I've brought Jesus into my heart, he's allowed people to come and help me grow up to be a woman of in integrity. I'm getting baptized because I want to strengthen my commitment in Christ. On um, March 13th, 2007, and my mom um, led me towards God, and God helped me by um, stop worrying about Satan and fear, and he, I pray to God about gr growing tall and stuff like that. And the reason why I'm getting baptized is I want to know God more, and I, and I got baptized in the Holy Spirit. Jesus, I baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's your son, Rob. And I love him. So I received my salvation when I was about eight years old, an altar call in, in kids' church. And my relationship with Christ has really meant that it has really impacted my life because of the promises that he made towards me that he'll never forsake me and that he'll he'll stick closer than a brother and that he's always there for me. And so that gives me like a renowned peace. And um, uh, why I'm being baptized, I guess it's like a symbol, uh, a symbol of uh, death to worldly things and a dedication to be a living sacrifice for Christ.
first accepted Jesus into my heart when I first went to kids camp, which was when I was around nine or 10. But then I fully accepted him my first time to youth camp, which was about a year ago. Accepting Jesus Christ has changed me because I am trying to lead my family members and friends to Christ, and I wasn't too good of a person before. I asked my mom why I wasn't baptized when I was a child, and she said that she wanted it to be my decision and my choice. Accepting Jesus Christ into my heart, God has shown me love, peace, and compassion, and I thank him, and I'm thankful for that. Being baptized, I just want to get rid of my old self and just be born again and live my life with God. God is love, and I'm so excited to be baptized. I first accepted Jesus into my heart when I was six at my old church, and I prayed with my pastor, and that's when I first accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Jesus has helped me a lot in my life because now I pray every night and day and thank him for everything that he's giving me, and I'm blessed to have him in my life, and he's helping me how, and he's helping me do things that I wouldn't be able to do before. He was in my life, and the reason I wanted to get baptized because I know that it's it will help us engage a, a better relationship with me and Jesus because when I die and I pass, it'll help me get to heaven, and that's where I want to be when I'm when I'm passed. And I love Jesus, and I wanted to make sure that he was he was in my heart forever. Brandon Long and um, I received Christ when I was nine years old at my old church. The reason I won't be baptized today is because I want to show that I'm a true believer in Christ. At six years old, I got saved in Kids Church. Ever since, I've been growing in my faith, and I want others to know what God has been doing in my life. I got saved when I was in kindergarten in Daisy's class. My teacher prayed with me, and ever since then, I've been growing in my walk with the Lord. I'm getting baptized because I want everybody to know what God has done in my life.
I'm being baptized as an outward expression of my faith so that everyone in the church and in my family can see what God has done in my life. Um, I was recently saved in like early September. Uh, two girls from Apicone High School invited me to their youth group. And ever since I was saved, God has done amazing things in my life. He has given me abundant love, unending grace, and eternal companionship. <laughs>